Hello boys and girls, cats and dogs, and whatever else may be watching this video today. The topic today is free, or rather free internet security. And we're back. So the reason why I've switched to free antivirus software mainly is because, well, when my usual security suite this past year I was using Norton, I tend to vary from year to year what I use, but last year I was using Norton, didn't quite have the money to purchase a upgrade. So at that point I decided to look into free solutions. So here I've got a few examples. And um, if I remember, I'll actually put the links um, in the description for this video. But first we're gonna start off with what I'm using as my antivirus. And a lot of people probably know about this, Avast. Now I had used this in the past several years ago and I was a little skeptical uh, to say the least because um, originally it hadn't been very effective. Uh, but so far, knock on wood, I've been using this for probably about six months now. And I haven't had any major problems with it. I've had viruses halted and everything else. Um, obviously it doesn't necessarily have the same resources that you'd have with, say, a Norton or a McAfee. Um, but this is not just one of those free softwares. A vast, their antivirus software is free. But if we pull up the website... What they really want you to get is some of their upgraded versions. So we have Pro, Antivirus, and Internet Security. Um, so obviously you can tell by looking right here that all you get with the free version is just basic antivirus software. Um, also with anti-spyware, which comes with a lot of various free computer programs these days. And I think pretty much any antivirus, if it's just a standalone antivirus, now includes anti-spyware software as well. So that's one example. I also have another one, which is probably these uh, Avast and this other one right here, AVG, are probably the two most popular free antivirus programs on uh, available on the internet right now. There are obviously others available, but these are the two that I'm featuring here. Obviously, I'm using Avast. Um, it's not recommended using two different antivirus programs at the same time because they will tend to attack each other and render each other useless. Um, so this, I obviously don't have AVG running on my computer at the moment, but I'm using this as an alternate example just so I don't put all my influencer, you want to call it, towards Avast. So this is AVG. And once again, same deal, antivirus, just basic virus protection. And there are higher versions uh, with the antivirus that you actually pay for. You get things like chatting and downloading support. Um, and obviously customer support from AVG, although to be honest, I've only ever used support for an antivirus program once and well, it was from Symantec and it was useless. Um, and then we have the full internet security, which obviously comes with everything. And then we look at the prices. Free, obviously can't really complain with that. Basic antivirus, $36.99, and then you go up to $58.99. Okay, so next I'm going to go into firewall software. So even if you're running this, either of these free antivirus programs, you still want some firewall protection because you're not running a full internet suite. And the next program I'm going to show you here is actually a program that I've sworn by for years. Zone Alarm. Free firewall. I've been using Zone Alarm since, must be since at least 2003. Now this past year I wasn't using it because I had the full uh, internet security suite and actually to be honest I think I had better performance out of Zone Alarm's firewall than I had with the integrated firewall with the Norton internet security. Uh, so this is another example right here. They've It's one thing that you notice with most of these is they're relatively basic programs. Um, you know they don't go all out with the flare and whatnot. Uh, for the the interface, but you know, you're just looking for a basic firewall. Like I said, I've sworn by this for years. What I actually used to do before um, I switched to a full internet security suite last year, just to try it out, 
is I would usually use Norton or McAfee or McAfee, uh, depending on which way you want to pronounce it, um, as my virus software. And for a few years, I was using Webroot Spy Sweeper as my uh, any spyware software, but to be honest, it was kind of useless. And then I would always use Zone Alarm as my firewall software. And just like I did with the last one, I have an alternate. And it is, uh, there's my tab, Komodo. And uh, this protects your computer probably just as well as you'll get with Zone Alarm. But uh, one of the complaints that I've heard about Komodo, now I haven't tried the most recent version, but I know a lot of people complain that it was overly complex to use. And unless you really knew what you were doing, you'd have no idea whether you were allowing stuff you shouldn't allow in or not. Um, and they've actually changed it now, uh, Komodo, they have the regular firewall, uh, but they're all they are also now offering free antivirus software. Um, so from Komodo you can get essentially a little mini suite where you've got your antivirus and your firewall. So that's another example. And another program, it's not really in the antivirus realm, but uh, I think it's well worth noting just for basic computer cleanup. I've also been using this for years, ccleaner.com, or well, ccleaner at ccleaner.com, whatever. Um, essentially, this just cleans out all the crap in your computer, um, repairs the registry. It's just basic internet tools, but it's uh, fairly convenient. And see right there, it gives you a little description of your computer right now. I'm using my primary computer, Windows 7 Home Premium, 64-bit service pack 1, Intel Core 2 Quad, 8 gigs of RAM, and so forth and so forth. Um, so, like I said, that's not really internet protection software, but it's something that I'd throw in because I've been using CCleaner for years just for regular computer maintenance. Uh, so that's all I really have for today, uh, but I will see y'all again in the future, in the very near future actually. Uh, so thank you once again very much for watching. Goodbye.